Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to another reaction video. How y'all doing? I hope that you guys are doing amazing, okay? All right, so y'all, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a real good one, y'all. Have you guys ever heard the story of, let me try to get her name right, Madame Delphine Lalaurie, okay? Madame Delphine Lalaurie, okay? So apparently she was like this crazy, crazy slave owner who literally um, was, she was so vicious, so nasty, so cruel to her slaves that other slaves owner like petition or something like they did something to get her to lose her slave like crazy like imagine imagine being that much of a maniac that other maniacs um feel like you're unfit to have our own slaves okay y'all let's let's just kind of get right on up in here all right get your popcorn get you something to drink grab me some water y'all got my blankie Let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all ever hear of the disgusting slave owner that got all of her slaves repoed? Actually, you guys have, because I've covered her. But I have more tea. Y'all remember the story of Marie Delphine Lalari and the Lalari Mansion? If you're new here, then go ahead and find that video. It should be on my playlist of haunted plantations. I'm gonna give you a quick synopsis. In my original video, I took you guys down a journey of a slave owner in New Orleans who was so terrible to her slaves that the community <coughs> rallied up against her and repoed her slaves. Then she bought them back. She had one of her family members go down there and get her slaves back. But some of my followers gave me some tea. And when I say tea, baby, I mean tea. So at the end of my original story, the La Lottery Mansion went up in flames and it was set on fire by a 70 year old slave who was trying to commit suicide. She ran off into the sunset and went to France and lived a quiet life, or so they wanted us to believe. A lot of you guys have heard about this story on American Horror Story Coven. And the ending of that episode and what happened to Marie was a stark difference from what historians say happened. Why are they doing this to us? Because we can. So my followers who are from the area, born and raised, and got the pot of key from their ancestors, put me up on game. So not only was she horrible to her slaves, she was also a cannibal. She was eating them. She was also doing medical experimentation on these people. She was making human centipedes out of enslaved people. This serial killer was unhinged. Because anytime you piss off your own people who are doing slightly similar things to you, that means you've gone too far, mama. <laughs> But it's also said that she was practicing voodoo. Her and her husband, Louis. They actually blame Louis more than they blame her. And while he was doing this medical experiment, one of his slaves were starting to, they were doing ritualistic medical practices. And one of the spirits came to him in the fire that he had, and he turned his back and ignored the help of the Lua. So it is said that she made it out of New Orleans before the mob came into her house to arrest her or do whatever they was going to do. But here's T. She never made it out of New Orleans. <laughs> See, what most people don't know back then, New Orleans was a hub for free black folk. And with the help of this free queen, the queen of voodoo herself, Madame Laveau, old girl never had a chance to make it out of New Orleans. Because it is said that this voodoo queen, along with a couple other priestess, got to that ass. It just makes my little black soul smile that she got the ending that she deserved. All right, boo-boo. Yo, I ain't never heard of Madame Delphine Lalaroux, okay? Lalaroux, if I think I'm saying her name right. But sis was buck wild. Like, I, this was a maniac a schizophrenic okay this was this this was a psychopath like i ain't never this is crazy and then have the 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 narc audacity to be also practicing voodoo too this is crazy y'all all right let's see can we find um because i think like she got many many parts to this i was doing the best i could 
to piece it together. And also her name is The Black Cauldron. If y'all not following her, make sure y'all follow her. She has a following on TikTok and she has a following on YouTube as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure that I piece, <clears throat> excuse me, both of her platforms so that you guys could follow her. She has some very interesting stories, y'all. And she's a great storyteller. So let's go ahead and let me see, can we, can we find another one? Have you ever heard about the things that Marie Delphine Lalari was actually doing to her slaves? I'm not talking about the stuff we saw in American Horror Story Coven. I'm talking about the things that you would have to look up. Get your popcorn. Hi, my name is Noah. I'm a spooky spiritualist and on my page we talk about death, spiritual reparations, haunted people, places, and things, and how you can fuck around and find out. If you're not following me, go ahead and follow me now. So by now, I've taught you guys about the slave master that got her slaves repo by the community because she was so disgusting to them. And we also went over a couple of other things, like how she was taken out by uh, Marie Laveau. So that part of American Horror Stories is absolutely accurate. But they actually did not put a lot of what she was actually doing into the, the show because it was too graphic to even reenact. All right, so I compiled a list 10 things that Madame Lalari did to her slaves. Fact one in my other video, which you can find in the playlist under Haunted Plantation, we discussed how she made a human centipede out of enslaved people. And when I said centipede, I meant like mouth to rear, if you catch my drift. She amputated one of her slave's arms and peeled her skin in an attempt to make her look like an actual centipede. What the obsession with centipedes was, we have no clue, but it was weird. Fact two, she broke enslaved people's limbs and then reset them in an attempt to make them look like crabs. One of her favorite pastimes was watching enslaved people who had healed like scurry across the floor like a crab. Fact three, she also liked to wrap enslaved people's intestines around them like a belt. This, this bitch was evil. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this is some center stir. This, she is evil. This is, this is past, like, no, this is a full blown demon. Okay. This is a full blown demon. This is crazy. Even in this picture, her pupils are dilated. Like, Sis almost ain't got no white in her eyes. She was a demon. <laughs> Fact four. As a punishment, she stuffed feces, animal feces, in one of her slaves' mouths and then had it sewn shut. Fact five. She once broke several of uh, one of her slaves' bones, trying to stuff her in a teeny, teeny cage. Fact six. Several of her slaves' bodies were found, some of them even exhumed, and they had holes in the skull. And that's because she used to throw holes in the skulls and put them up in the attic so that maggots could get in it. And then she would take a stick or a rod as punishment and dig into their brains. When I tell y'all this lady was crazy as fuck for no reason, and this was all entertainment for her, <laughs> I'm not lying. Seven. It is said that Marie was the way she was because her uncle was killed by enslaved people in 1771. And this was her way of getting her lit back. <laughs> Eight, she wasn't just cruel to her slaves. No, she was way too diabolical for that. She also was very cruel to her daughters, beating them whenever they would try to feed these malnutritioned slaves, like beating them, okay? Nine. Her home was filled with torture devices. The devices are still around. Where? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out for y'all. But they are like artifacts now because they're so old and some of the things they found, literally. <sighs> 10, she used to cover enslaved men, men in particular in honey, and watch the roaches and ants eat them just for fun. So when I say I truly, truly hope her demise was one that she deserved, that she is still getting her ass beat in the afterlife, I, I really hope. Do good and be good. Have you ever heard about- Y'all, this, um, this was a sick woman. This person was a, 
I, I can't even call this, I can't even call her a person. I can't even call her a person for real. This is wild. This just don't make no sense. Oh my God. Whew. Okay. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, I ain't never, I ain't never in my whole life heard of this woman. And I ain't never heard of no sick, twisted things like this being done to no human, okay? Like, no human. And the fact that she lost her, she lost her slaves because she was so sick and twisted that other slave owners was just like, oh, we got to do something. We got to get them slaves away from her. She crazy. That's, that's crazy to me. And I want to find the, I think there's like another part that's missing, y'all where it was said that Marie Laveau did something. I don't know, did she do like a spell or something? She did something to um, get rid of her. 